Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Wave Tech from Wave Tech Beats. I want to thank you for stopping by the channel. Uh, it's been a nice road. Uh, just trying to, you know, get some of that information out. And when I'm trying to get some of that information out, I'm trying to make sure everybody is out here can get this information. Man, it's free for me. Uh, so, with that being said, do us a favor. We're going to clean up some of that laundry. You know, everybody has that laundry. And hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell. You know, let you know when uh, when when I when I do a video. And it'll help us get to that next level. But today's topic, we want to talk about five simple mistakes we as uh producer, beat maker, business entrepreneurs tend to make uh, in, our, in our everyday business dealings. So, mistake number one. Everyone knows that in the profession of beat making and producing and all of that, it's simple. And you can get online, get FL Studio, buy a couple beat packs, and voila, you producing and selling beats. What we don't do is we don't handle business. So mistake number one is, is taking care of the essentials of business formats. We're not structuring our businesses as, you know, we're not structuring our brand. We're not structuring our uh copyrights our trademarks none of that right there the first step basically is you know as you're a brand you are a brand so like wave tech is my brand that's me uh, so everything is llc uh you can get all of that through your local uh government in your city whatever city you from your state tax revenues and things like that first thing first is you got to make sure that you are legally able to collect money so you can pay taxes so them, them three letter people don't come to see you, you feel me that's mistake number one mistake number two is we tend to as producers and beat makers we tend to uh not market ourselves now like i said if you're new to this and you're starting out there's a difference in paid advertisement and free advertisement and later on i'll do an in-depth on paid advertisement and i'll do an in-depth on free advertisement but you can, you can go out here and the best way to get out there, especially if nobody knows you, is to just basically uh, put put your, your links everywhere. But don't oversaturate. And what I mean by don't oversaturate is, is don't put your link four times a day in the same site man two or three times but two two times is cool <clears throat> but you can post other stuff to draw people's attention to you uh, if you're on ig there's a way that you can edit your site to where people can go straight to you I mean, there's different ways of doing things uh again that's not what this video is about we'll get into that uh quite sure that, I mean there's a lot of people out there because right now the market is saturated you have everybody who's a producer calling themselves a producer everybody who's a rapper how do you how do you you know get your name in front of the right people so you have to market yourself number three number three is probably excuse me Number three is probably the one that tends to uh, bewilder everybody. So, 
with number one, we talked about, you know, legalizing. You know, that's branding and all of that. Number two, we talked talked about marketing. But number three, so number three is harnessing your craft. So the the main thing is is when you're when when you're out here and you're making beats and things like that, it's simple to drag and drop. I started out like that, all right? So I'm not knocking nobody. What I'm saying is you got to harness your craft. So uh, most of your top producers use muses. If you don't know what a muse is, it's a reference track uh, to, to, to get that sound, that quality sound that will help them get to that next level. So basically, it's like, you might have an artist come in. Uh, you might have an artist come in and say, "Hey, I want that. I want to. I want the sound of, uh, of 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 a Rihanna, or the sound of a Beyonce, or for rappers, the sound of a little baby or the baby." But you're not up to that part to where you could take in off the dome be like all right cool i know what that sounds like have a reference track use reference tracks in everything that you possibly do Speaking, i wouldn't say songwriting because you definitely don't want to copy uh somebody's lyrics or anything like that uh but yeah muses re- reference tracks man those is major uh Number four, number four is be organized. All right, be organized. So when you're being organized, and I did a video on how to use templates in Logic Pro X. When you're doing a session, the worst thing you can do is walk into that session and boom. They sit down, they give you, they got two hours, they want to knock out 15 tracks. And you haven't set up nothing to go in there to even knock out one. All right. Most artists want to get in and get out. Now, you got some artists who want to get in and they'll be in that bad boy all day. But they want to knock out music. They want to knock out all the good stuff. So it ain't about the mixing. You do the track and lay the vocals and all of that, then they can send it off. You the, you the beat maker producer, you know. Yeah, but the mix, it can go to the, you know, if you're in Studio B, you can go to the mixing station in the studio, what have you. And I mean, you just have to be able to do, be organized, like your tracks, your, 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 your workstation need to be organized with, the colors to know that this is where the drums go and this is where the melodies go and this is where my you might have a audio track that you want on a vox it just got to be organized everything need to be labeled everything need to be broken down because especially if you go send that track off to be mixed then that it mixing engineer can go in and see how you got everything labeled. Oh, this is where this vocal goes. This is the chorus. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Okay, so I need to know how to mix this. This uh, be organized. Last but right. not least, man, is uh, and this touches on back in. I think it was. I think I said two or three. It, it's it's. Let's say this: the five mistakes we make is. Because we already think we know everything. I've been there. Thought I knew it all. Don't know it all. All right. But we have to be open-minded about everything that we do. Remember, an artist is hiring you. Just because you're the producer, you're still working for that artist. You're your own boss because you're running your own... uh, You're running your own production... Uh, set up your own production studio man listen nowadays it doesn't take to go into a million dollar studio you can do things from your laptop 
and has send it off and have somebody master it over her and they send it back into boom you might have a number one hit but how are you going to do that if you're not uh well structured well organized uh all of those good things you know what i'm saying so those are the five common mistakes that we make as artists producers beat makers and everything remember man get all your paperwork together because the one thing let me say this the one thing you don't want to do is have the, your beat making producing and rapping money go into your account over here where you pay your bills at all right so get your big get, get your business structure set get your separate bank account grow your social media following because this is the day of social media and I have a bonus one for you uh, I just was sitting here thinking about that also find different avenues to, to generate those moves everybody wants to be a producer and get into the rap game there are other ways to make money in the music industry as far as if you're a beat maker as far as if you're an artist there's a ton of different ways to make this money okay just remember man you don't have to be a rapper going out uh on tour even though it's cool to go out on tour uh but just remember man it takes takes a lot if you ain't got that social media backing all right so that's all I got, man. Shout out to... Uh, I always want to give my shout outs because I always want to thank the people who helped me get to the point that I'm at. It's been a long road for me. Uh, off and on, doing music. Street team rep for Def Jam. Along with my partners, uh, DJ Black, uh, East Coast Avalanche uh, Recordings, and DJ John Rock, uh, Midwest Avalanche Recordings. Uh, I want to thank... People who are who who's helped me out, Cal Beats. Uh, I want to thank Curtis King. Well, I want to shout these cats out. Uh, uh, Sean Devine and CJ Beats. Man, you cats keep doing what y'all do because what y'all do helps me out. Helps me to get to my situation, to where I've grown my production and all of that. All right, so once again, man, I want to thank everybody for stopping by the channel. 2020, the vision is we're going to surf that wave, wave tech from wave tech beats. 